Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Mighty Z, and last time we got the Ultra Han ability, so we can build stuff now. And because we went to college, we will do some at least relatively decent engineering. <laughs> Actually, no, please, please. Have mercy. <laughs> All right, but a bridge should be fine. They've conveniently left us all this wood everywhere. So if we just stick it all together, it should be fine and hold our weight. Link isn't that heavy, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? All right, let's place you there. All right, and we're good. Moving on. Now I'm starting to have ideas. Give my brain some time to get the creative juices going, and we'll have some fun. Now I know what that railing was for over there. Oh. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Doo -doo -doo. Hi, Raru, how's it going? <laughs> what I build will be simple for now. We'll get fancy later. When we have a later to do stuff with. Let's go. Oh, well, that was professional. Climb. Climb, Link. There we go. New bridge built. <laughs> okay, let's go. What am I looking at? This is nice. Is that float? Whoa! I, I meant float in water, not float in midair like that. This is useful. I'll have to mess with you later. You're coming with me. You defy the laws of physics. Poor Switch, your frame rate doesn't like that, do you? Let's go. All right. Come on. Oh, <laughs> that didn't work. I'll use you later. Don't particularly need it right now. We have two more shrines to find and the goal for today is to find them both but they seem pretty out of the way <laughs> so we'll do what we can do um have an open world game now so the parts are a little longer but we don't want to go ridiculous with that so we will fit what we can <laughs> in one episode but guaranteed we will be done in three we are not going to stay up here for four episodes <laughs> that would be embarrassing okay let's see up there this is where we were at uh, this shrine over there we just have to cross some more water no problem we can build something <laughs> yeah 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 Ooh, what is this Oh, Koroks are back. No. Yes, we can see you. We know you're Korok. Mm hmm. Yeah. You got separated from your friend? Okay. Your friend sending a smoke signal? I like that you have stuff. How are you? How do you carry that much stuff? I guess your friend probably helped you. 
All right. Fortunately for you, we have gained new magical abilities or incredibly high technology abilities, and we will help you. Uh huh. Need to rotate you differently. Okay, here we go. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's the problem. Uh oh. Go, come over here. No! No! <laughs> Wait, Clyde! Clyde, Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Backup plan! Plan B! Viewers, you are going to have to forgive my planned bees. Sometimes things fail, but we always find a way. <laughs> now, what to do next? Where's your buddy? Where is he? Oh, there you are. Waiting here for your friend? Oh, was I supposed to? I'm supposed to bring y you over here. Okay. Um. Huh. Okay. Okay. Not gonna waste all my hooks this time. I take this? No. How do we get you to your friend? Practice. We will use wind power. Yeah. Hopefully the wind is... Sh no, 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 no. Okay, hopefully the wind is strong enough to blow the log back up the rail. Then we can grab the Korok buddy and reunite them. Line up. Come on. There we go. We'll just stick you right there. Why do you keep turning like that? Okay. Or is it pivoting automatically with the wind? Okay. Yeah, now we just need a hook. Wait, this might not work height-wise. Um, how do we want to do this? Uh-oh. Okay, hold up. Hold on, let's see. Let's check the heights real quick. Let's see. Yep, that's not going to line up at all. I'm going to get you off first. Let's move you over here for later. Ah, no, okay. And let's see, would the sail even fit? Or do I need to put the sail on the side of the log, maybe? Okay, hold up. Oh, no, 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 okay, it's fine. No, oh, oh! Really? Moving on! We will come back to help the Koroks later! <laughs> we know where this place is. Don't worry, you have camp gear, you'll be fine. Y'all don't really need food, your plants, you have plenty of water and plenty of sunshine. Link will come back and help you later. For now, we gotta go help Zelda. <laughs> okay, let's get you on here! And not fall off embarrassingly this time. And let's get going. Come on. Come on, do the thing. Go. Come on. Come on. Move. Okay, let's push it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Log. Move. Move. Dang it, Log. I command you to move. Okay, hold on. Let's give it some help. Move 
you about there. Jump on here. Here we go. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna work. No, not the camera. Let's crouch. Just to be safe. There's the other shrine over there, and we're good. Yes. Trial by fire. <laughs> we will help the Koroks later. Need a sail. Or something. Or we can just walk around. There you go. A thick stick. <laughs> I need fire. Need to make some food. Okay, let's at least get past the sound. Okay, gotta get to that shrine over there. Without dying. Sail number two. That is not good craftsmanship. Okay, here we go. Rotating it with the D-pad is awkward. I want to rotate it with the right stick. Oh. Come on. Why does it twist like that? Who choo choos? Get away! Get away! <laughs> How do you jump strike? Uh, there we go. Choo choo jelly. All right. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Why does it keep turning? Whatever, we have another sail to mess with. Should we fail this time? It's not pretty, but he has the job done. We just gotta get there. We'll get more abilities. We'll be better at life. Sailing, sailing. <laughs> there we go, until we get enough stamina to just swim across this stuff. Now, how do we get back across? I don't know. I'm gonna assume we're gonna get a, an ability that we can use to get back across the water when we're done. All right, it's up there. Let's go. Here we go. Shrine time. Let's keep going. Hello again. Ah. So you made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Hmm. This is the fuse ability. It allows you to fuse something 
nearby to your weapon or hand or shield. Mm. Mm. Use fuse. All right. So that's a sword. First of all, let's pick up the sword. Okay, so we have that sword. Okay. That's really cool. Can we fuse more rocks? Okay. So we have a rock on a sword. <laughs> okay. Cool. Can we store this abomination? Yes, we can. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, let's break some stuff. Ooh. I get it. <laughs> this makes even useless weapons kind of cool. So we can just make ye old hammer whenever we want to. What is this? Ooh, fire fruit. Okay. We already had a bow, but just in case. Okay, so let's get a bow out. Get a bow out. No. Okay, here we go. Where's that fruit? Okay, so there's the fruit. Okay, that's fused. What did that do? Fusing fire fruit. We got fire arrows. For what purpose? Is there something on the wall? Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, we can make a fire arrow whenever we want. That's cool. I need a whole bunch of these then. There's something we're supposed to sh ah. Z-axis. They're training us. They're training us. Uh, no, stop whistling. No. Up. Alright. Burn that. There we go. Key. Okay, that was mandatory. That's about a Breath of the Wild Shrine level puzzle, so that's good. Just gotta get my mind back in the mode. This is cool, though. Oh, I totally walked past this chest last time. Whole bunch of arrows. Well, not a whole bunch, like five. But I'll take it. I think that was it. I think we got the general idea. Of course, it's a combat ability. Oh, they can fuse stuff too? Yes, they can! Alright. They give us a whole bunch of stuff. Ow! Uh...
Okay, I'm gonna fuse this stuff. Okay. Store that for later. Fuse you. All right. Okay. Let's eat real quick. Okay. Let's go. Come on, robot. You like that? Uh, rock your world! Ah! Yeah, I just noticed something. Come on! Yeah. Vengeance is mine, you stupid robot! Hmm. Probably store this stuff while we're here. <laughs> Yoink! Cool. Let's go. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will Enhance your strength. Cool. More light blessing. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Oh, that's Raru and his lady friend. Let's go. It's interesting doing a shrine actually and talking to someone who built one. I came because there's something I failed to give you. If you give me the glider right now, so help me, robot. Oh, not the glider? What is this? Energy cell. Okay. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools ooh, known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of the ca of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. Oh, thank you. Once again, very polite as always. I hope that the energy cell provided to you is useful for you. Okay. Let's go. A lot more combat ability now. In the most basic sense, we got hammers. Oh, you guys don't like choo choos either? Uh, yeah, take, you take care of them. Hey, everybody, how's it going? One. Urgh. Okay. 
I don't know what this stuff is, but it's high technology. Take it off. Oh, let's get rid of some of our sticks. Oh, crap. Did I fuse you things? Okay, no. Let's stick. Do we have any sticks? Oh, okay, no. We're getting rid of both of our useless junk at this point. Mm. There we go. I'm taking the stick. Where were your buddies? Buddies were over here. Hey, what's up? I got fusion too. Yeah. That's cool. You made yourself like an ore. Got that reach. You have something on fire. That's not fair. Cool idea though. Oh no! No 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 no! Put it away! Put it away! Put it away! <laughs> okay. We already have a shield. Ooh, now we have another one. Okay, cool. I wonder what you did to light that stuff on fire. That's pretty cool. Let's cook some... Oh! We can chill here if we want. Or we can uh, cook some stuff. Hmm. No. That brings me back. Mm-hmm. Good, good. Classic. Oh, uh, what else? I don't think Choo Choo stuff makes... I think... There is a dish in Japan that actually is wood that you can eat. Boiled bark. Wait, was he humming Milan's melody? Ooh. Hardy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's make some more of that. I need to hear if he's humming what I think he's humming, because that would be awesome. Oh, man. Let's cook some mushrooms together. Okay, let's, let's listen to him hum now. Nice. I hummed something different this time. Okay. Let's climb. Climb, please, Link, before you drown. What do we got? Ooh. Let's get rid of... You. Come on. Goodbye, fix stick. I'll have to settle for the one I was born with. Oh! <laughs> okay, moving on. Alright. We have a nice, stronger weapon now. And let's move on. He said the other side of the cave. Are these the caves where we were directed to? I think so. Let's go check it out. My train of thought. I'm gonna assume this is where we were directed to go. Hmm. These are probably for different kinds of arrows. In fact, let's learn right now. Oh, that's cool. Seems they took the idea of light arrows a bit literally this time. <laughs> but very clever. Very clever indeed. We know what the keys parts do, so we need to collect all these as well. Let's keep going. So, no gems, but I'll take it. I don't know what you are. Wait, salt? Hold on, what does the salt do? That's hilarious. <laughs> you got assaulted? <laughs> Alright. That guaranteed makes ice. 
Let's see what else we got. I think we could probably blow this up with bombs. Which I'm not even sure if we get in this game. Oh no, I crushed whatever came out of there. Dang it. Cool. Well, good to know you can break certain key items. We'll find more. With these nice cheap hammers, I don't have to worry about breaking them up. Okay, these are great for light. We got... Oh, clothes! Oh, maybe we're supposed just now supposed to find clothes. There we go. That's cool, looking stylish. A little bit more comfortable. Let's go. Hey guys. Hmm. Ah, we may have need of these parts. There are more materials near the water available for your use. Don't take our stuff, human. <laughs> we have the Zonai device, but I don't see how it will help us with the <laughs> broken raft situation. Ah, it seems you don't know of Zonai devices. They are necessities. You can use them and build stuff like Connects or Lego Technics. You know, this is a fan. What can you do with a fan? It generates wind. But you need your power cells you got right there. Otherwise, you would break the game in half. <laughs> All right. We got it. Cool. Zonai devices are extremely useful and just use our imagination. Okay, let's go. Let's learn how this works. Cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh. Eh. Eh. Let me wiggle you off. Oh, it's still work. It's still functioning. Oh, it's running out of power. And it's running out of power. Readjustment. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Come on. Come on. It ain't pretty, but it gets the job done. Engineering perfection. There we go. Oh. Are you coming this direction? Hmm. Went to make fire, got it. Teaching us how to use fire and using flint and stuff, the mountain pass must be cold, which means we are gonna need some cold resistance for those of you who are new. In the original tutorial in Breath of the Wild, that was the rough part of the Great Plateau for some people. And it might be rough here, but we'll figure it out. We have lots of experience and a lot more materials to work with. So, not seeing any problems coming up. Famous last words. Ooh, they have all kinds of rails and stuff up here. And a lot more caves than I was expecting. There were not this many caves before. This is cool. 
Alright, let's get up here and more choo-choos. Away with you! Away! Back! Wow, you are a durable boy, aren't you? Ow! <laughs> Yeah, let's wait the stick. There we go. Need your precious jellies. Your delicious jellies. They're mine now. Okay. So we're getting high up. One more shrine left to go. Come on, Link. Do some more cardio. We gotta go. Uh, we're getting stamina up first as soon as possible. Another railing. This looks like fun. Some Donkey Kong style <laughs> rail card action. Ooh, but first, combat. Whoa, okay, you guys have real weapons and you know what you're doing with fusion. We have fusion too, though. Let's see. I know we can fuse a shield to a sword. How do you do that? Okay, so we have shields here. Okay, fusion, come up. Ow, stop throwing rocks at me! Okay, hold up. Okay, so sword is out. Hit fusion. Fuse the shield. No, not the other sword. How do how do you do this? Hold up. Is there an option here? Fuse! I need to fuse this to the shield. I know it's a thing that can be done. Hold up. Do I need to drop it on the ground? Ow! <laughs> you jerk! That's cool. You can make wind with that. You guys throwing barrels. Oh! Oh, wow! <laughs> okay, that's annoying. But that's good to know you can do that. <laughs> Let's try something about this. I don't know what that actually did. Uh, that's just a light thing. Flint. No! What about an acorn? Acorns are useless. Did that help? Still learning here. Combination of rust and learning new stuff. It'll get better. Well, okay, we can use that for money or something else. Oops. Probably eat something. Now, viewers, I know in these modern Zelda games, the beginning can be slow and unprofessional looking, but I promise you it will get better. There will be action packed stuff down the line. And once I figure out what I'm doing, we're gonna have some cool fights. I guarantee it. But for now, we have a learning curve to climb, and that's part of the fun. <laughs> So let's keep climbing. Mm. There was a creature to get rusty items clean. What was it? It like sucked everything up like a wind tunnel and would spit them out clean. We gotta find some of those guys. But for now, it's time for some minecar havoc. If you here, you get one of these conveniently placed fans. Slap you on here. Perfection. <laughs> and let's go. It's good enough. Another creepy cave. And they're named too. Probably gotta come back to some of these for goodies. Let's turn you off. And let's go explore. Oh, you. Oh wait, you're friendly. Okay. You friendly?
White Bloom Seeds. Cool name. You have really convenient plants in Hyrule. Light up flowers and bomb flowers and all kinds of craziness. Alright. So we can shoot them or hit them on the ground to make light as we need it. Very convenient. We've seen it before though, but let's get some more light up. That is pretty cool. What am I looking at? Oh! Clever. I've seen a lot of ways to light up dark areas, but that is new. Make some more hammers. Or get, you know, an actual hammer. Okay. Give us all the materials we need. Can we unfuse the weapon? Whoops! Rock shield by mistake. I don't think we can unfuse these. Maybe. If we drop it, and we do this, and we shake them apart. No. I think once something is fused, it's fused. <laughs> Good to know, gotta be careful. Got the stupid rock shield. for not noticing you. Okay, so we got like a minor guy. Alright. Take the Zonite he mentioned. We've been finding that Zonite all over the place. Been wondering what it's used for. He does processing. Zonite is processed by smelting it in a bunch of different ways. You can make some other materials. Okay, he's gonna show some examples. What are you going to make? Weapons? Shields? Okay. Okay, so we have Zonite Charges. And Crystallized Charges. Alright. So this process is called Processing. We use the charges to power devices. And the Crystallized Form... I'm not sure we use that for at this point. We'll figure it out. Oh, you got yourself a little shop here. So, we can use a couple pieces of zonite, and we can just make some charges. Cool. What do we need for this? And a bunch- oh, just a few more pieces, we can make crystallized zonite. We don't have a- we have a- is there a humanite element we have? We should name one, we should pick something good. Maybe like carbon? We'll call it carbon humanite. Uh, my chemistry and geology buddies are gonna be pissed. <laughs> what do you got? Ah, oh, you have some pieces of equipment. Are those fans? Are they portable? Oh, alright. So sometimes some of the devices are portable and we can actually stick them in our inventory. Very useful. I wonder what other stuff we can find. That could be useful because... If materials aren't conveniently there, or you want to make a very specific vehicle when you know what you're doing, you'll be able to do that with that. 
<laughs> but I wonder what kind of equipment do they have. Can I put like one of these mine carts in my inventory? Because we can get into all kinds of shenanigans with that. And we will later. <laughs> Okay, I guess I have to use one of my fans I was just handed. Don't want to waste them. But okay, we gotta use one to get out of here. It's tutorial island. <laughs> let's, let's just do it. We'll find more later. All right, so I can't drop it there. Need some space. Put it out there, and there we go. Yeah, then it's just like all the other Zonite fans we find. Yeah, okay, let's pop you. Um, right there. Much more well designed this time, and tap this and be on our way. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. I like this. This is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> All right, getting up there. Ooh, where is the next shrine? Okay. We haven't even actually reached the icy region yet. Don't think we're gonna make it there this part, but guaranteed in part three we're gonna finish this place out. Hi, Raru, how are you doing? Okay. Time bell. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so just a little history of the area. Interesting to have you here. I like how uh, these newer Zelda games have this high tech, mm, high technology feel to them. It's really cool, really cool. The forerunners of their world and stuff. Even the Master Sword has like an AI running it. It's good stuff. There is no magic, only science that is not understood. Oh, we got another Korok buddy here. You guys need smaller backpacks. Okay, so your buddy's over there. Okay, we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you and then we're gonna call it apart. <laughs> no Korok left behind. We have science on our side <laughs> and engineering. Okay, let's build something. Can we build a minecart with this stuff? Let's see, what is this? What is this? Excuse me, good sir. Mm, device dispenser. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay, so apparently we can use materials to make the Zonite capsules that have little device parts like our little fans and stuff. That's good to know. I want to save my materials for later though. So if possible, let's try and do this with stuff we can find around the way. Okay, so we already have mine carts. Put you here. There you go. And anything to propel it. Mm. Yeah, can we pick you up? Can we actually move you? Yes, we can move you. And I saw we could attach you to things too. Might have to have fun with that later. Okay. Um. Can we, can we push this? That's eh, too heavy and old. Well, we have fans already. We can use them. We see your buddy. Didn't mean to talk to you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just use the fans we have. <laughs> Gotta be conservative with some of our supplies. Stuff I want to do later, when it matters. Okay, so... Uh, you're at the end. Drop. There you are! Let's attach you. Rotate. And plop you on here. Okay, and here we go. Should be no problem. There's our battery, got plenty. 
And we're here. No problem. No harm, no foul. He looks like he's freaking out. <laughs> yeah, if I saw me building things, I'd be freaking out too, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. But, we're gonna take you to your buddy and see what happens, actually. We see your buddy. He's right there. <laughs> Just walk over to him. Okay, I guess we gotta carry you all the way, princess. Excuse me. Alright, there you go. Is that close enough? There you go. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna give us? Of course. Two. One for each buddy. Cool. That's not too bad. I think this is also a tutorial for upcoming Korok challenges, which I'm oh so looking forward to. Okay, before the part ends, let's at least make it over to the icy part. So let's cross this rail up here. We've been working with minecarts pretty successfully so far. So let's, uh, let's make it a full house. Pop you on here. I have one fan left to work with, so I've got to be careful now. Actually, I can rip the fan off the other minecart, so it should be fine. Alright, let's go. Mm-hmm. I'm learning. I am learning. That is good enough. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I did not look where we were going! That enough weight. Okay. Test number three. Hang on. Hang on! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... That's gonna run out of power eventually. Okay, I overthought it dramatically. Let's try this. There we go. Well, with that, we have arrived <laughs> in one piece, more or less, to the icy region. I am going to go look for some spicy peppers so I can cook up something, because we're going to need cold resistance. Or at least materials to make a whole bunch of fire. And next time, we will tackle the icy mountaintop and get to the third and final shrine so we can go into the Temple of Time. I'm Mighty Z, and as always, be safe, be well, and goodbye. <laughs>